Welcome to another OnSign TV Expert Tips. In this video, we'll go over the OnSign TV application for displaying an RSS feed. We begin by creating a new app under the News and RSS Feed section. As you can see, we have many templates here you can use. For example, you can use stickers that go to the bottom of the screen or on the top of it. We also have some other variations of ticker apps and some full screen RSS templates, so feel free to browse and choose the one you like best. For this example, we're going to be using this one right here. It's called Modern RSS and when you select it, you will see many options and ways to customize the app. First, let's give the app a name. This is going to be a news feed, so we'll give it this title. In this field, it's asking for the RSS link. As you know, an RSS is a specific URL that is going to give us information from a source. So how do we get this source? Simply Google the RSS source you want to get the information from. For example, let's look up a CNN RSS feed. Here we can see multiple RSS feed options to choose from. For example, let's use this one. Copy the link and paste it into the app. And that's pretty much it. We just covered the basics and the app is ready for use, but let's customize it a bit to make sure it delivers information well. For example, we can set the duration of each article displayed on the screen. 10 seconds is a good start, but of course use longer periods for longer articles and titles. Up next, we can change the fonts. Keep in mind that you can upload your own custom fonts if you wish. Moving on here, we can customize the appearance of the text. For example, you can change the font size, text color, and highlight color. You can also change the background color or even apply an image to the background. Keep in mind that you can also make the background transparent should you need this at any given point in the future. Below here, we can toggle some additional settings such as animate article transition, animate article image, and show QR code. If you tick this last one, a QR code will be visible on the feed and users can scan it to visit the article source page. And that's it. We can now hit save. And if you go to edit the app again, you'll see this thumbnail preview of the feed has changed. That already offers a decent preview of how things are aligned in the feed. Down here, you can hit preview, of course, to see what the app will look like in more detail. This looks good. Of course, if this layout isn't something you had in mind, don't forget you can customize the app further or choose from many other RSS feed apps available. And there you have it. The RSS feed is ready to go. That's it for this expert tip. I'll see you in the next one.